The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is an important ligament that stabilizes the knee. If the ACL tears, the knee can be unstable and give way on pivoting motions. You will now see a video that contains information you need to know for your anterior cruciate ligament surgery. As with any surgical procedure, there can be complications with surgery. However, the incidence is fairly low. The knee can become stiff and lose motion. Since the graft temporarily weakens the kneecap, there is a risk of fracture of the kneecap until it heals. The risk of the graft stretching out or re-tearing is about 5%. The risk of deep infection is less than 1%. The incidence of clinically significant phlebitis, or blood clots in the veins of the leg, is in the same range. Other problems, such as anesthesia complications, instrument breakage, or artery and nerve injury are rare but can occur. There are other potential complications that are even more infrequent. Precautions are taken to help prevent all complications, but we must remember that they can occur in spite of all safeguards. We must weigh the risks against the potential benefits and alternatives in making a decision about having surgery. In this video, we will describe your preparation for the procedure, how the ACL reconstruction is performed, and what you should do afterwards. Several days before the surgery, start washing the knee frequently with soap and water. The skin has to be very clean. You can't have any scratches, pimples, sunburn, or poison ivy. You don't have to shave the area. We will do that when you arrive. On the day before surgery, check in with the doctor's office to find out what time you should report the next day. It is very important that you have nothing to eat or drink after midnight the night before surgery. You might want to put up a note as a reminder. Now let's look at what you will do on the day of surgery. The operation will be done either at the MGH Surgical Daycare Unit on the third floor of the Wang Ambulatory Care Building or at MGH West Outpatient Surgical Center, which is located off Route 128 in Waltham. You can see MGH West from Route 128. In the preoperative area, the anesthesiologist will start an IV. You will then be taken into the operating room. The procedure is done arthroscopically. After your surgery, you will wake up in the recovery room. Your leg might be in a continuous passive motion machine, or a CPM, that will move your knee very slowly. The knee will actually hurt less and regain its motion more quickly if the CPM is used slowly and continuously as directed by your doctor. You should use the CPM machine as directed in your instructions. Keep the knee cool with the cryocuff, which is a cooling device that holds ice water. Get out of bed frequently, but use the knee immobilizer and crutches for the first week or two until the leg is painless and can support your weight. The CPM settings on the hand control unit should be extension minus 5 degrees. This means that the machine will allow the knee to hyperextend a little. It is important that the knee itself straightens all the way, not just the machine. The extensor pause button should be set at 5 seconds. This makes the machine pause for 5 seconds when it is straight. This gives you time to stretch your knee out straight once in a while. The speed can be set at whatever feels comfortable. The flexion, or how far the machine allows your knee to bend, should be whatever is comfortable. Start at about 40 or 60 degrees flexion and gradually work your way up to about 90 degrees in a few days. If an allograft is used, the CPM may or may not be needed. A knee immobilizer locked out straight should be kept on for the first week or two. Take off the immobilizer as needed to apply cold or to gently move the knee. Use the immobilizer in bed to keep the knee straight and when up walking. Use crutches and put about half your body weight on the leg. It is okay to take off the bandages in two or three days to shower. Occasionally, another tissue is used for a graft, such as one or two hamstring tendons. You will receive separate instructions for this. No matter which graft was used, the most important goal in rehabilitation after surgery is to get the knee straight. This is the hardest part, so if you get it straight early, the rest is easy. Remember to wash the knee and protect the skin before surgery. Also remember that you need an empty stomach at the time of the anesthesia and surgery. Therefore, have nothing to eat or drink after midnight. Please make an appointment to see your doctor about 7 to 10 days after surgery to have these stitches removed. Please reread your written instructions and call if you have any questions or concerns.